All right, YouTubers. Hi, this is uh, my Quadrajet series I've put together for you guys. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be running you through the basic parts, the basic functionality, a couple of identification uh, marks on these things. I must just add that for the purposes of this video, my screws are hand loose or tight and I don't have any of my gaskets in. Uh, I just gently have the whole unit assembled and um, one of my arms is broken so I just have a, a replacement arm in there um, and my arm over here is on the verge of snapping off so it's just there's just one or two little things that don't really make much of a difference I'll mention them as we go through alrighty without further ado let's get started I'm gonna take you through the basic principles of the quadrajet what you have is um, the quadrajet is called a spread board design for those of you that don't know um, and if you flip it upside down and I hope none of my parts go falling out all over the place these are the primaries and my blades are loose because uh, part of this step is uh, me showing you how to tap these and put these back in um, but we'll get to that later usually they would be sitting behind these shafts the same as these the nice thing about these quadrajets is um, that the primary side which is these small ones is probably where anything from a daily driver to a street rod you're going to be doing 90 percent of your driving is going to be all on the primary side a lot of people think secondaries play a really big role in performance there it's it's the complete opposite uh, these only open in a in a relatively small margin of your engine's operation uh, whether you're bombing it from cruise taking off at a stoplight mashing it your primaries are pretty much going to be doing 80 to 90 percent of the work so anyways this is just an overview of the quadrajet and we'll get into those details later but basically these are your primaries and they mechanically operated this uh, the carbs upside down obviously but this controls those blades to open and close almost like that that's because they're loose now you won't see it I'll take these off and I'll show you what the shaft does so basically that is your accelerator going to work and when you go all the way down to wide open throttle the secondary is open and what that does is um, you'll notice on the top here this is your choke flap when your engine's warmed up or your choke is fully disengaged, this will pretty much be in the upright position causing almost no resistance or, you know, to the air going down there. And what you'll notice is that you've got um, flaps over here that are controlled via a spring. The spring sits underneath here, we'll get to that later, whereas your primary side is open. And basically what's gonna, what happens is when you're driving or pulling away, or your primary side is pretty much just open to the atmosphere that you can see straight through the bottom whereas your secondary side has those flaps what's going to happen is when the demands of your engine increase to a point where you are opening your secondaries that's going to start sucking air down onto these flaps and they're going to start doing this and the more vacuum or more air that gets pushed down there is going to pull these open more so that is the spread bore design um, popular more popular carbs are square bore meaning that the primaries and the secondaries are the same size and the thing that's really nice about quadrajets is this gives you fantastic economy uh, with incredible power when these secondaries open so uh, in my opinion it's a, it's actually a better setup for a, a daily driver people race with these carbs and you can do a lot with them anyways all right that's on the basic design of the base now let's get to identification this one of the first things that you will notice with these carbs is the uh, various fuel inlets um, and i'm just speaking off the top of my head here but basically you'll find uh, that the chevys tend to have a side exit and um, perhaps the buicks and the pontiacs it has a front facing inlet that's it the chevys tend to have the elbow coming out the side um, 
this is a manual choke and the way you can tell that is that there is there is no pot over here this is an electric choke cover so what this will do is that sits over that little arm over there and this little pot would normally sit on the outside over here with a wire going on there or if you had a heat operated choke it would either have an arm going down into your intake manifold. Basically you can identify your choke type by that. Um, apart from that quadrajets are pretty much very similar they all work on the same principles on the inside. Uh, some of the differences you'll notice apart from the fuel inlet and the choke setups is the front over here. I mean usually if you're if you have the hood open of the car you'll be looking at the carburetor from this angle and uh, you'll notice in this area there might be extra bulges in the casting. They've, they're a whole bunch of different models. Um, one thing to note, a mistake I made in my early days which is where I'm still at, is that the electric TBI quadrajets have a blue plug that sits over here. Um, you will not be able to dial that in at all. It requires a computer controlled setup for the quadrajet to run. So if you're building an old hot rod, don't look for the versions with that little blue plug sticking out the side here. Uh, try and get one that has no electrical stuff coming out. Then you know you're pretty good to go.